bedroom and we're gonna get crafty with wow. I know I changed she it up didn't on him. Give me my space. I okay, sorry, let's start over. Take there we go. Take take two. Hello, hello, hello. Oh no, wait. Okay, wait. Let me start over. See now I'm rehearsing it and it's bad. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Christy with Christy's Craft Room. I'm not. Well, that is Tim, my husband. He hangs out here in the craft room with me. <laughs> I promise you it's not scripted, but that's just, we just tend to repeat the same things every time. And then it changes over time. Y'all, happy Friday. Come on in. Get comfy. We're going to craft. We're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to just enjoy our time together, getting a little bit creative, okay? Um, I'm excited. I haven't crafted with one of our wood cutout sets. I feel like in a while. I feel like it's been a hot minute or two. So um, I'm excited Easy. to get to be crafting. Sorry, to Facebook can't there. see it very well. So I had to adjust it a little bit here. So um, you guys, we are, let me fix that. Okay. Hello, Miss Judy. Hello. Oh, I got the text. Tim just sent out the text message for y'all. Hello, Susan. Hey, uh, the other Susan. Hello, Trudy. How are you today? Happy Friday. Thanks for sprinkling. Hello, Miss Debbie. Snow day in Davison. Yes, we had snow days here too. Um, we came into work, but the schools are all closed and all of that because it's been snowing all day. I haven't even looked outside in a while, so I don't know how much we ended up getting. Um, I don't think we got a ton. We're kind of in like I, a... I looked at it and I'm like, why the ham sandwich at close school? Some people, really nothing. See, there's people who live in like the snow belt, they call it, where they get a lot of snow. We live like in... I don't know what it would be it, called. It, it ain't even like a snow tie. Yeah, we don't get It'd much snow. snow. We tend, shoe yeah, or we tend to be kind of protected from the weather here. Sometimes it seems like for the most part, in our little weird like on the bay that we live on, it's kind of interesting. So, um, Patty said, "I'm glad you're crafting this one. I bought it today. Yay, Patty! Um, we are crafting with this one today because I know lots of you all already ordered it. This is the first release we've done in like three weeks. I think we is haven't done a." Long? We didn't do one. I don't think we did one the last two weeks. Um, I don't think so. So we, we, we finally did a release. We've got some spring stuff. We just got a few Easter things because we know Easter is right around the corner. Um, so we want you guys to get them in time, okay? So this will be what's out for Easter is probably, I don't know if we'll have anything Easter next week um, or the next time we release. I don't, I don't know. Um, we'll have more spring, you, but definitely the, not more stars. Easter. But we're using this little tear tray set. I have an extra set here because we're going to gift a set today to somebody who's watching, hanging out, sprinkling the com the, the video, S-H-A-R-E it, and chatting in the comments with us. That's all you have to do is hang out, sprinkle, invite your friends, um, and then just chat with us, okay? So this set has one, two, three, four, five, five little mini sets within it, okay? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's what I love about the tier tray sets is you get like you five and pay. one. So this one is, I'm going to try to hold this up. It says carrot patch. And it's got this little metal, um, little border that goes with it. So we got our carrot patch sign. You get your little picture frame stand for your little round frame. We've got the fresh picked, locally grown carrots right here. It has the little word, it's got the little little sign. It's all kind of like 3D. And then we've got the farm fresh carrots. This one will be hard to, to hold up, but farm fresh carrots. And this has like a little stand that it can, like a little roadside sign. Mom and dad are you. watching. Mom and dad are watching. Hey mom, hey dad, I'm glad you're here. Oh no, Tammy's at Earth. What you doing at urgent care, oh, Tammy? Oh, goodness gracious, girl, girl. And then we've got this little carrot, um, little carrot sign, I guess you can call it, a little um, accessory piece. So you've got the galvanized metal and then the carrot. So we're gonna decorate this. Oh, and then you also have the banner. You get four banner pieces, like so. Your dad. With little mini carrots, aren't they? Ooh. Aren't they super cute? Super cute. My dad, what about my dad? What is my dad? Mom do? and dad are in the house. Mom and dad are in the house. Our house. Our house. Yes, you are in your house. Thank you, Carrie, for the stars. Yes, Thank you, Eugene, welcome. for the stars. I'm glad you're here today. So we're going to Oh, no. Something popped in her ankle going up the stairs. Ouch. 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 That's not good. 
Ah, a sprinkle from Marine City. Well, thank you. Thank you for sprinkling. You guys, it really helps us when you guys sprinkle. It really does. It um, lets Facebook know. Um, if you hit the like button, it lets them know that you like what you're seeing here. But then if you sprinkle it, it really lets them know like, wow, this person really likes their stuff and we're going to show them more of their stuff. So if you want to see more of our videos and not miss our stuff, then by interacting with it, it tells Facebook that you want to see more of it. So, um, it's important, not just for our page, but for any page that you like and you want to see their stuff to just hit that little like button as it goes by, you know, pop a comment in there, share it and all the things um they really really know Ooh, miss Anne marie says she just ordered this set and the chicken set today too yay awesome all right so i'm gonna go kind of farmhousey neutral with this because you all know i'm very farmhousey neutral no. no i know shocker <gasps> shocker a farmhouse neutral uh, yeah um, susan this will work good with the uh with the truck Thank yes, you, I will actually show you this in the truck when I am done. All of our tiered tray sets will work well with the truck, okay? They're all kind of designed with the truck in mind, but also Thank you, Leslie, um, for the stars. you can use these on other tiered tray sets as or tiered trays as well. But when we're done, I will show Thank you, you our truck and how you can whoop, display it in the truck. Thank you, Marsha. The stars so i'm kind of going with some blacks and whites because it's very farmhousey um but i also have some orange i've got and green i've got terracotta orange which is my favorite orange well thank you patty and then i also have spanish moss this is a chalk paint um but i really like the color i really like the color so that's why we're using that so we're just gonna thank get started stars, kathy we're gonna start with we're gonna start with, what are we gonna start with? The beginning. Let's start by painting our carrots. Let's get some orange and green onto our carrots. That's where we're gonna start. All our little carrot pieces, we're gonna start um, with those. That's what we're gonna do. I'm new, is this what was in your March kits? No. Nope, this is just a one-off item in our shop that anybody can get. You don't have to be in our private group to get this. Anyone can get it. Our private group, they get a discount on it. Mm -hmm. um, but anyone else can get it just from going to the shop. And Tim can put the link Thank in the comments for, the for you. That's what I'm doing right now. Perfect. Perfect. Look, he's on it, y'all. He is on it. Well, I'm using yeah. little makeup sponges. It is pinned. I'll put it over there. And uh, uh, No, Susie, I don't only mention those who give stars no he, he the comments are totally random he, he does try to thank everyone who gives stars because we appreciate it but he also reads tons of other comments of people who don't give stars um when you're doing little parts you can cut just a little corner off of your little makeup sponge and then we're going to dip it dip it in there kind of get a little bit of the excess off so it doesn't puddle into all of our little grooves and stuff and then we're just going to take and just just kind of like stamp it on there. All us watching okay. on our lunch time. Ooh, enjoy your lunch. We just had lunch. We just had lunch. It was yummy. Um, I'm gonna regret it later, um, but it was very delicious. It was very delicious. Um, what lunch? Lunch, yes. Yeah, we right. uh, we split. We did the whole little let's split something thing today, um, and we had a. Uh, what's it called? What's it called? A BLT. BLT. We split a BLT because the BLT is at the little restaurant over here by us. They're they're pretty generous with their bacon and, and toppings. So um, it's a lot. It's a good size sandwich. What is the name of this kit? This is the Carrot Patch Tear Tray Set. The, yep. There you go, Carrot Kathy. Patch. Carrot Patch Tear Tray Set. Um, Anne Marie loved last night's bonus craft. I'm making five bunny crates to surprise my coworkers. You guys, I didn't show you. I didn't post a photo yet. I need. We need to show you. Tim's gonna grab and show you what we made last night. Okay. Well, look how we got that painted. You don't have to worry about all the edges and all those little cracks. It doesn't get into the little seams. Um, so you can see my arm. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Poor YouTube's like, what are you showing us? Um, but see, you don't you don't fill your cracks when you do it this way don't when you do crack. you don't want to fill your crack with paint okay if you use a brush it might get all up in there and we right. don't want to get all up in there for this one okay can so you I'm, tell can, can you tell whose is whose whose is whose can you tell any guesses hmm i don't know what gives it away mm -hmm. yes so that's tim's if you couldn't this one guess is mine. 
And then look at those pink, the, the pink googly eyes. It's adorable. So it's adorable. And, and then these ones we showed them two different ways. Um, we actually made these little crates from scratch yes. with them. And then we showed them two different ways that they can make the bunnies to add little, little Easter treats. So that was our fun bonus craft night last night. Ooh, Miss Chris, I'm so excited. You're excited. She got her kit today. Awesome. It's, it's a fave for a lot of people. Okay. Thank you, Chris, for the stars. I'm way behind here. I can watch you live today because I'm off work. Well, Helen, I am glad awesome. that you can be here live with us today. Yes, Don't so, forget if you're just popping on. And here's the thing. Before, I was starting to get hungry before she even mentioned anything about lunch. Uh-huh. And I'm like, man, a BLT sounds good. I could go for a BLT. Yep. And then I said, she's like, you want to run and grab us some lunch from the from next door? And he's like, I don't want pizza. I'm like, I, no, I the said the, the restaurant. We'll get something from the restaurant. Maybe we can split something because it's just too big for lunch. The meals are just too big, I think. Yeah. Um, it's just too much. It's more like a dinner. So I said, well, why don't we split something? He's like, well, what do you want? I said, well, maybe a BLT. He's like, I was thinking a BLT. And I'm like, oh, look, we're like in sync with each other. Isn't that so cute? Like our brains, like we, we like, mm -hmm, whatever that's, I was going to say psychopathic. What yes, that? that's it. Right there. <laughs> no, that's not it. Nail on the head. <laughs> what is it? Tell it, tell it. What is that called? Tell, 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 tell it. Telepathic. Tell, 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 I knew it was tell us something. But Somebody no. telling me what it is. No, psychopathic is better. <laughs> I'm like, I knew that wasn't it, but that's what, what was coming to my head. That's what was going into my head. Y'all, I'll tell you, I mess up my words all the time here. If you're new here. Yes, Marie, I see that. Know that that happens all the time. So I did my little, okay. my, my, well, I guess my bigger carrots. And then we've got these little carrots on here too. So we're going to do, try to do just the little carrot part. Just the little carrot part. Like so. But don't forget, if you're just popping in here, we are Ooh. going to. In St. Louis, there's a restaurant called Crown Candy. Their BLTs have a pound of bacon. Just mm, like Tony's. Just like Tony's here in Michigan. Yes. Um, if, you're new, if you're just popping in, make sure you sprinkle this video and chat in the comments with us because I have a set right here that we are going to gift to somebody today. Sorry, Judy. Jody. She wants a BLT now. I know we're making y'all hungry. Thank you, uh, Janet, for the stars. And then it comes with, or he, well, he got fries. It doesn't come with fries. You have to order them separate. But then he ordered onion rings too. Because I wasn't sure just the sandwich and fries was be enough for both of us. It would have been. It would have been. We actually did not eat all of it. No. Um, and I love me some onion rings, but onion rings don't love. Yes, Stacy. Onion rings are not my They're friend. No, but they're good. They sometimes come back and, and um, with a vengeance and make my tummy a little rumbly. <laughs> um, and I get like, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're yummy and I eat them anyways. So that's what we do, right? That's what we do. We really didn't get that much snow, a couple inches. And on the, on the, on, on the, on the TV, they said we was going to get four to six. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't even see three out there. Yeah. Well, I think Thank because... you, Jane, for the stars. I don't know. I don't know if the ground is starting to warm up a little bit because of the weather has been a little bit nicer. We've had a couple of nicer or sunnier days here. So I think that just made the first batch of snow that came down not stick right away. I don't know. Ooh, onion rings with spicy ketchup. Ooh, that sounds yummy. All right, get ready, guys. I'm going to grab some names here in a second. I'm going to use my folk art um, chalk Spanish moss for the carrot top. So I'm going to grab another little chunk of sponge. Just grab another little chunk off of there. Another little chunk. I should use my Kath, uh, Kathleen says, all your truck kits are awesome. I really have to paint my truck for, uh, yes. paint my truck first though. Yes, get your truck painted so you can start decorating and have uh, fun Yes, with Jenny, it. this is a new cut. This is a new um, cutout. This yep. is one of our new releases. Just added to the shop today. Yeah, it was big, clunky snow. Chunky snow. Yeah. So, all right, guys, I'm going to grab some names here. We have Tammy Taylor, Leslie Lang, Kathy Dickman, Dawn Hag, Kimberly Kelly, 
Kathy Cosman Flesting, Debbie Holmes Claypool, Loretta Houston, Donna Brandt, Kimberly Kelly, Susie Gentry, and Pamela Markham. I think I'm gonna do like this ground area here with the green also. Aren't they so cute? So cute and delicate, so fun. Love it, love it. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Tim, what was I gonna say? I don't know. Or tele with you, it's hard to tell. Telepathy is not um, working right now. <laughs> it's not working, it's not working. What was I gonna say? Huh. Oh, shucks. It'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. It will. Thank you, Miss Daddy. She says it's adorable. Thank you. Where are you from? Oh. Sandra here. They're asking somebody else. Yeah. Say, we're from Michigan. Kind of watching both because for some reason on YouTube started at the beginning, so it's behind. Oh, Open yeah. Out. Yeah. Well, YouTube and Facebook are not always in sync with each other. They're not in sync. All right. So yes, Crystal, it has been a very long week. It has been a long week. It has. I'm happy it's, it's been Friday. been five days. But it feels longer. <laughs> it feels longer. But we have a busy weekend. We have a busy weekend. We I have know. a birthday party tomorrow. We have to go shopping for the birthday party still. Um, there look how cute how cute how cute all right so let's see now we're going to do we're gonna oh, oh, oh i gotta do you my gotta do the top i gotta do the tops of this one i miss the that tops. is cute isn't that cute i like those aren't they adorable love the carrots behind you behind you oh those were those ones were done in our um bonus craft night last time for our craft kit group and then that one was done here on the main page. The, the tile oh. ones we did. You, want, you can pull it and show them if you want to closer, if they want to see it. All right, so I'm just continuing. Just, just a little dab in it. A little. Oh. Ooh, you just <laughs> hit me. <laughs> Are you trying to take me out? I think I'll step aside. Go ahead, take me off again. <laughs> All right. Tip All it right. up a little bit. Well, there's tip sideways. You couldn't, yeah, tilt it. There you go. Well, they were like tilted. There you go. There you go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? All right. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, and avocado. Ooh, yes. Oh. Yes. That's. There, you know what? There is one thing I did not like about the, the, the that sandwich. What? They put like. A half a head of lettuce on it. There was too. a lot of lettuce. And there like was a, a lot. But you could always take the half lettuce a tomato. off. But you could take some of the lettuce off. Okay. Okay, where where am I at here? I don't know. Where are you, Tim? I don't where know. are you? Bye. See ya. You too. Thanks, you too. Alright, we've got our little carrots. We're gonna move those up a little bit because they're all painted. Shoot. Now I think we're going to work on our background pieces. This one I know we're going to do white because I want that to kind of show through some. And then we can always go over it. Um, I'll show you how we do that if we need to. So I'm going to start with white. And I'm just using acrylic paint here. Learning to make owners. Now if I can keep from burning my fingers, can't find my finger protectors. Oh, find oh. those finger protectors. Find, you you all talk about weight. burning. Oh. Tim tried to burn the house down last Damn night, y'all. Tim tried to burn... Tried to take the house down, okay? He tried. He tried. He didn't succeed, but he tried. You want to tell them about that? <laughs> so. I'm going to use a brush, and I'm just going to paint this white. Yeah. So we get home, and, and Trevor. Oh, there's Jenny right on cue. What's the story with the exploding torch? It was a video. Oh. If it was a video, it didn't play for me. It was just a short clip. That's all that was captured. So, it, was just, it was a video, but it was just a short little video clip. So with my little torch thing, Trevor was trying to use it for, God only knows what Trevor was using it for. Um, but it wouldn't work. As soon as he put it on a can of gas, uh, of map gas, or propane, it started, all the propane started leaking out a relief hole. So I'm messing with it, you know, it's trying to see if I can get it cleaned up. And 
I thought, well, if we get it going, maybe whatever's sticking in there for the for the gas to you know escape, maybe that'll you know loosen up and it'll it'll close up. Well, I was wrong. So in the handle, there's there's propane leaking out of it, and I've got it lit, and the propane leaking out of it got to the got to the torch tip mm -hmm. and it all caught on fire mm -hmm. so i had on the handle there was a flame shooting out of the handle and then the flame shooting out of the end i'm gonna try something i'm gonna try to do this differently i'm gonna borrow the one out of here do you have another one of these or no what, what an wants? extra one of those pieces no. i'm gonna try something i'm gonna grab the one out of here but i'm gonna get you a new one actually can, yeah. so i'm gonna try something because I, I think i want i think we're gonna get better results doing it differently I think I shouldn't have used the brush. So we're gonna to experiment together with this, the best way to have this show up so that you hopefully don't, if it works the way my brain is thinking it's gonna work. My brain does not always, what I have going on in my brain does not always translate to real life, but we're gonna find out together, okay? We do that around here. Sometimes we experiment together, okay? So I wanna try this. So as it's all flaming up, I run to the front door to throw it out, forgetting that the back door was oh, only four feet away. Instead, I go 20 feet to the front door. The back door was literally, he was right by the back door, four feet oh, yeah. from the back door. I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm doing some stuff on my phone and I look up and all I see is a ball of flames about this big coming up from his arm. Thank you, Marsha. For and I'm stars. like, and he's running towards the front door. Everyone else is frozen. The kids are all there. They're just like frozen staring at him. And I'm like, what in the world just happened? So, I mean, I knew he was like, had the torch there. But um, he, uh, he's doing weird things, y'all. Weird things. But, so I follow him with this flame, like this ball of flame coming up from his arm. And yeah, we, we, we see it, Patricia. He ran Thank out you. the front door and... Like literally pitched it out into the snowy grass and it went out before it even hit the grass um but it, not, it, not not before it took all the hair off the back he has of my no hand. hair and i was just like are you okay are you okay and he's just like and i'm like it's dark i can't see your hand like i can't see should have like, been able to uh uh smell the hair burning right right all right so i am doing the same technique that I did with the others and I'm doing a little bit of paint at a time so that the words don't because when I use the brush oh. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the difference of what happened Jenny Chrissy was just telling me about that uh, uh, right before we went live what about uh, Stacy y'all did you see that Stacy the one who hosted our principal parade last or earlier this week on Tuesday she accidentally went live with her phone in her pocket and had no clue she was live until people started calling her that knew her and were like, a oh, girlfriend, you're live, you're live, you're live right now <laughs> and you don't know it. Her and her husband, they're getting ready to move and they were cleaning out their garage and they... um we're going through things and bless her heart. She's like so sweet and she's so cute. She's like, she's so embarrassed. She's like, she, she was like, the first thing she says on this live is, what about this one covered in mouse poop? <laughs> and her husband, you know, our husbands, sometimes we have things we don't like to get rid of and we hold on to things, but then our husbands have the things that they want to hold on to and not get rid of, right? So her husband is like, oh, we're keeping that. And she's like, hmm. And he's like, oh, we're keeping that. It was $40. <laughs> like, what are you throwing that away? That was $40. Um, but I told her, I'm like, we all, have, we all have garages. And when it gets cold in the winter, where did the mice go? They find their way into the garages, right? It happens. It happens. It happens to all of us. Um, yeah. All of us. We actually, should I tell them about the time we had a, um, but she didn't realize she was live. So she, it was pretty funny if you caught it live. Um, she ended up deleting it, but then she posted like, posted it back up as a real part of it, but it was pretty funny. 
Are you were you waiting to say something or do something? Well, no, I actually I, I typed the response. Someone was having trouble, uh, didn't know where to put the discount code. Oh, in okay. The shop. I said they told her she had to make sure she's logged into her account and yep. it should be on the checkout page. Okay. Where it has for coupons. All right, I'm just kind of getting like a second code. Is that right? I don't know. I didn't really listen to what your instructions were. I just thought you handled it. Okay. So in case I, he probably did say it right, but I'll repeat it. If you are in our craft kit group and you have the coupon code, when you get to your cart, there's going to be a spot that says, um, you know, coupon code, discount code, something to that effect. And you'll enter it there. But you want to log into, if you're not logged into your account, it's going to say this is an invalid code. So you're going to want to go to your, where it says account, my account, and log in first. Um, and then it'll work, the coupon will work. So you have to be logged in. Yes, free hair removal. Free hair removal. I don't know if that's the kind of hair removal I want, though. I think I'll stick with the wax. I think I'll take the wax. I'll stick with that. Um, you guys, this is working so much better. So much better. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, it's working a whole lot but I think better. those letters pop a lot better. Oh, yes. See, the thing is when you use a brush and you drag across where it etches in and it kind of burns the um, letters in. I'll show them the difference between them. Well, two. I'm going to. It, when you drag across it with the brush, it drags the paint into the little, the little etching marks. So when you do this, and you just start with a little bit of paint at a time, because if you have a lot of paint and you're squishing that paint into it, you're going to squish it into the cracks too, the etching, and we don't want to do that. So I think, so let me show you. This is what I started to do, and it's not terrible yet, but if I would have continued, you can see where the words were kind of disappearing, okay? You're kind of losing the words. And then we'd have to go back over and trace them with paint or a, a paint pen or something like that. But by using the little dabbing technique, it stands out um, a lot better, especially in real life. It's still, you get a little bit of like that weird light reflecting back at you. So you lose it a little have bit. Have fun, Kathy. But, oops, let me hold it closer there. So fresh picked, locally grown, fresh picked, locally grown. Um, Hi, it Cheryl. shows up much, much better. So I'm going to dry this. Well, I'm just going to set it aside and let it dry. I might come back and add a little bit more, or I might distress it. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Decisions, decisions, decisions. And then, let's see. This one I'm going to do white, too. This one I'm going to do white, too. So we're not going to do that one yet. I'm just going to use my brush because there's no etching, so I don't have to worry about that on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and use the brush. I know the makeup sponge works really, really great, especially for these all these little pieces. When I get to these little words too, I'll show you some little tricks for painting these. Um, that makes it a little bit easier to paint them. Just received my craft kit. Happy dance is going to be adorable. Shelly, yes, I'm so excited for this month. I'm excited every month. She is. Oh my gosh, you all, every I month, just can't handle the, it. The, the, every month, it's her new favorite. I was super excited for this month, and but but. But then when I created April's, I was like, oh, now that's my new favorite. April's pretty stinking amazing and very different than any other one we've done before. So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Right? right? All right. So I'm going to get my white. And I try to go, like, away from the edges. You can paint your Actually, edges. I got hers as well. I prefer not to. So I like to brush away from the edges. <laughs> nice try, Jenny. What? <laughs> What's April's kit? <laughs> I'm not telling ya. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. It's a good one. It is a good one. It's, not, it's a surprise. Lynn's not even going to get out of me. Lynn is not even going to get it out of me. Nope. Not happening. Not happening. It'll be April before we know it. All right. Yes. So I've got my white there. Oh, do I want to do these white just so that they blend away? Well, it'd be kind of right. goofy to Waverly wax them at this point, wouldn't it? I don't know. Because you've, you know, pretty much we'll do them white. white. We'll do them white. We'll do them white. And I'll just do the, grab another sponge here. I know, I don't, I like having the dark edges, especially when you're like layering. I like that dark edge because it kind of helps that three-dimensional pop oh, wow. um, show up a little bit better. So I like... 
to not do the edges. Corby, do you get your delivered to your work? She says, my kit came today, was happy when the receptionist brought it back to me. Oh, we have several that um, their kits go to their place of employment because... You know what? You don't want your husband to know? No. No, I think it's more they're at work during the day when it would be delivered. And sometimes when you're not home, you know, sometimes things disappear off our porches and stuff. And they're more likely to get it because they know it'll be delivered during business hours if it's a business address. So... I know there's several that have it go to their businesses. Okay, so we've got that. That's our little. Uh, little Marie, base. that's that is separate. Next, we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do this one like with a black background. Oh. I didn't get that. Whoops. Could you try? Carby says I, I don't like things sitting on my porch, and she's not married. Totally understandable. <laughs> what? Uh. Virtual craft weekend. Oh, the live event weekend? I don't know anything on virtual yet. You guys, it'll probably easily be a couple, at least a couple weeks minimum before I have any information on that. Um, just because we've still been very deep into making sure everything's set to go for the live event before we can um, explore the virtual options. Um, I can tell you there will be something on some level. We just, you know, we... I still haven't heard back from the tech um, department at the place to confirm all the things that they told me, but you know, I gotta confirm exactly what they have to make sure we have a good, um, good enough streaming capabilities from there. So, I mean, they told us we did, but you know, you know, I wanna know the deets. I gotta know the deets, the details. I, I, yeah, I get that, Corby. It sucks, but I get it. Too many dishonest people around nowadays. Yes. Don't yes. need to tempt the porch by your Yes, yes. But yeah, we, see that's that's the one thing I worry about with you know the stuff that we have delivered to the house. But it's I I do feel a little bit better because we have a ring doorbell, so it's anybody comes by to the porch, we know. Right. So right. so that's helpful. And we know that it's been delivered and whatnot. Um yeah. but yeah, we do have about twenty tickets left for the live event. Twenty tickets left for the live in person event in Waco, Texas. So um, you can still get a ticket for the live event until they're gone. So we got about 20 left. And then uh, Krista says, am I, am I the only one that loves the smell of wood when your cutouts come? Yes. Yes, I know. I know. It was funny. Um, we had someone stop by from um, like an official person stop by and they were like, what's that smell like they were concerned about that because they're asking a bunch of questions about like the ventilation and all this this different stuff and they're like what's that smell what do i smell and we're like oh that's just the wood the wood like it, you can it's it has the burnt edges and you can smell that and he's like oh you know because they, the, don't, they don't know the machines because it's uh, uh the smoke the, the the table that they sit on in the machine is covered with uh, uh just smoke so even you know, like the dust like, yeah it stays inside there it's all contained because the machines are sealed but when you you know when you the machines are open it. you can still smell it throughout yeah. the whole back yeah all right so now we're going to let's see we're multitasking here i think i'm going to do this frame black mm -hmm. so let's do that while we got the black going oh yeah those onion rings probably weren't a good idea i know the smell of the burnt wood is fun a lot of people like it a lot of people love it Look at that. It's like campfire. It reminds you of summer campfires, right? Yes. Tammy says she loves the smell. Yes, I know. I know. Um, so, let's see. Oh, wow. Sanders says, I haven't been able to, uh, haven't been able to smell a lot of stuff since I had the Rona in Oh, 21. yeah, that um, definitely hinders, hinders the sense. Yeah, you know, and it's, senses for this the smelling senses whatever it's called Your olfactory yes um so that done. some some people i worked with at the hospital after um and we're gonna go orange with our carrots the, the females um there was like four or five of them that after a year and a half they didn't have their smell sense of smell back that's crazy that's crazy it's insane 
So you guys want to hear a funny story that I've never shared on the page here? Because I want to make Stacy feel better because, because you know, when you're, you know, you're like, she went live and was talking about the mouse poo on the blanket in the garage, you know, and y'all, I'm like, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. We all have garages. We all have, you know, it happens, right? Well, we one time, um, we never had our old house years ago. We lived in an old farmhouse. And we used to get the little mices would find their way in. There was lots of little ways for them to find their way in, right? Um, in this old, old farmhouse. And I hated it. it. Drove me crazy. I hated it. It stressed me out, all the things. And Tim always dealt with it, right? So the house we live in now, it's not an old farmhouse. It's newer-ish. So we've never had an issue with that, okay? Um, it's always been, we just never had an issue in the house. In the garage we did. Um, they've gotten into a couple boxes in the attic above the garage a couple times, but never in the house. And so, <laughs> he knows the story I'm going to tell. Uh -huh. I was, I'm usually the first one up and down, I'm usually the first one up in our house these days, okay? I'm the first one up, and this was probably, what, a year ago now? Mm -hmm. A year or so ago? Yeah. Um, so... Or maybe like fall. No, it was, it was like the, in the fall. It yeah, was like it was just getting cold out. Okay. Yeah. So they were looking for somewhere warm They're to go. They're all looking for someplace okay? warm. And we, I come downstairs. It's still dark in the house. It's it's like dark. I like I have the hallway light on, so there's just a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of a light enough to where I can kind of see, but not enough to blind myself. Okay. So the first thing I do is I make my cup of coffee every morning. Okay. And I, oh, that's going to be cute. So cute. This orange and the black together is going to be fun. It won't be Halloween-y, I promise. I promise. Um, but it's going to be fun. And then, hold on. Let me figure out what color I need to paint things next. So let me kind of look at this. I think I'm going to go white with our carrot patch for this one. I think we're going to go white. So I'm going to grab the white. I don't know where my white sponge went. Um, Peggy, Tim's sending you our email. He's replying to your comment right now. So you can email us at Christie's team at Christie's .com. He's putting it in as a reply to you right now. But, um, let me grab, let me grab. I'm going to finish my story, y'all. I promise you. I'm going to finish my story. Get ready, guys. I'm going to grab some more names here in a second. I'm going to take a piece of painter's tape. When you're doing these words like this, it helps if you take your painter's tape and you put it on your table. Just kind of fold your little, whoop, fold your edges over, and then you can stick it right to your table or whatever you're working on. Now I'm working on silicone and it doesn't stick as well to the silicone, but it, but it works. Shelly says, I live in a small farmhouse. I walked into my kitchen and a little mouse popped its head up from one of my stove burners. I know. They get in. They find their way. If, okay? their nose, if, their no, if they can fit their nose through it, they can get oh in it. Oh, my gosh. They can get in the tiniest little spaces. So, okay, so you stick it on like that, and then when you, it kind of holds them still while you are painting them. So, hold on, y'all. I'm focusing on the craft. I'm crafting and chatting here, so uh, sometimes that takes me a minute, the, okay? The painter's tape always reminds me of the barn quilt. Yes. See, it doesn't stick as great to these um, silicone mats, but it still works. So I, I get my coffee, okay? Well, I have to, annoyingly, I have to fill the, cra the, the, the craft part or whatever it's called up with, um, with water because... It was out of water. So I carry carry this in the dark over to the sink and I'm holding, it's about this big, this like thing that I gotta fill with water. And I'm standing there at the sink, half asleep, turn the water on, it's filling up with water. And all of a sudden, something catches my eye off to the side. And there's like a little heat register over there, okay? And I, I catch it move me, moving. And I go to look down, and just as I go to look down, I feel it on my foot. It's like the little, like the little claws, the little cheeky little mousy feet were like, I, and I'm standing here, and I'm holding 
the the thing in my hand and I just scream. Like I let out this blood curdling death scream and I oh, freeze. Yes. It's fight or flight. I don't do either. I just freeze, okay? I'm screaming, like this long drawn out scream. My whole body tenses up. <laughs> I'm already dressed. No, I'm not dressed. I'm still in my pajamas. Oh. I'm still in my pajamas. And I... Thank you, Marie. My body just lets go. Just lets go. And not just a little like, oh, I got a little tinkle in my, in my, you know. No. Like, full on first morning. You've been holding it all night. Down my legs, dripping into my feet. She I'm just... She ah! didn't stop me laughing. <laughs> and it's not like I like froze. And then the flight kicked in. And I ran down the hallway, up the stairs, Tim, Tim, <laughs> screaming Tim's name. And I get, I fling the bedroom door open, and he's just like sitting on the edge of the bed with his phone. And I'm like, hello? Like, did you not just hear me screaming? Somebody could have been killing me down there. Like, what are you, what are you just sitting there on your phone? He's like, well, I heard you running up the stairs, so I figured you'd come up and tell me what's wrong. I'm like, what? What? As far as I knew, it could have just been a spider. Well, he probably assumed it was a spider, but it could have been an axe, an axe murderer, you know? No, like, the ring didn't go off. <laughs> he's very reliant on that ring. What if they, like, cut the wires and it... You know, what if they did something? Like, what if it just, you know, you can't totally rely on that. And, y'all, it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. It was totally embarrassing. And I was like, I'm never telling anybody that story because people can think we got mice in our house. <laughs> Tim took care of that mouse for me, though. He did. He did. It took him. He wasn't in a hurry, you know, to get to it. But um, he did set up some situations so that it would no longer come into our house. And we haven't had an issue since then. But so Stacy, Stacy, it's okay. You just had it in your garage. It was in my house running around making itself comfy on my toes. Yeah. So it happens to the best of us, y'all, and the worst of us. It does. And then Elena comes down like 20 minutes later. She's like, what was all that screaming? I'm like, you heard me? She said, yeah. I said, you didn't come to check and see what happened? She's like, well, I knew dad was here, so I figured dad would... You know, dad would come down and see if you're okay. I'm like, well, what if, what if, what if they took dad out first? And then I was screaming. Y'all would never have known. Like the lack of fear in my family for my safety um, is, is a little disturb disturbing. We got, we got ring doorbells. We got ring doorbells. We got ring doorbells. We got, red, we got, we got the ring doorbell. We, we got, got the, the doorbell, y'all. <laughs> y'all. Oh, you were lucky? We've never, we've been there for nine years, and this is the first experience we had with them um, in our home. And you better believe we've got some little uh, little bait stations set up now just to, just in case, yes. proactively, just in case. We um we let our, we have like a company that comes out and takes care of like our the spiders and all that stuff. And you better believe we chatted with them and said, we got to get this, like, so they got us all hooked up and... Yeah, he uh, he hooked us up. Even uh, uh, gave us one for the camper. Yeah, little bait box. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. All right, I'm gonna kind of look in to see what color I want. I'm trying to figure out what color we're gonna paint these ones. Um, yeah, I'm sure we scared off anyone with 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 the scream. I'm sure yeah. I did. I'm sure I did. Okay. So what? I think we're gonna do these black. We're gonna do these black. I'm gonna do these black, and then I'm gonna come back and add a little special touch to some of these. Um, black, where's my black one? Do I not have a little black one? Oh, I just used the brush for the black, so we need a sponge. I need a sponge for the black. I have three cats. Yeah, we used to have a cat. We used to have a cat. Um, and that's probably why we didn't have any around for, for nine years. But um, sadly, yes. we do no longer have our cat. So Our cat is um, no longer with us. So we, um, unfortunately, that's probably why. And we're not getting another one. No, we're not getting another one. We've got T-Bone, and T-Bone ain't doing the... T-Bone ain't doing the job. No. He's not doing the job when it comes to that. Yes. Yes. There's so many different, like, tips and tricks and things that you could do. Homemade solutions and and little things to, to handle them. There is. 
Oh yeah, Corp she grew up. The house she grew up in had a bunch of uh, oh. the flying ones too. Oh yes, it still does. <laughs> still does. Every year, because there's a lot around the area, and um, every year during family reunion, every year during family, because the doors opened and closed so much, and there's so much traffic coming in and out of the house that week that every single year a bat gets into my parents' house. Every single year. Never fails. I don't think there's been a family reunion year that there was not a bat experience. Um, because people just they leave the door open. It's you know the little kids will stand there and hold it. And in the evening, like they there's like little they actually have little bat houses out there too. And they say it helps with the mosquitoes, but I I don't know that that's really it makes that much of a difference, but that's what they say. That's what they say. All right, guys. We do need to paint our little stands also, so I can't forget that. I'm going to make sure everything is dry. We're going to add some little touches here. Don't forget, somebody who sprinkles this video is going to get um, one of these sets that I'm working with today. We're going to do these black. Okay. Just a, a neutral black. Thank you for sprinkling. Why am I looking at that? Yeah, we just luckily don't have roaches around here. I mean, are there roaches in Michigan? Like, yes, there, there are. Is? We don't have There any. are. Thankfully, we've never had those. Yes, Ramona, this does fit in the truck. It does. I'm going to show you it in the truck when we're done. I'll put it, I'll set it up in the truck for you so you can see what it's like in the truck. All right. Do our little stands. I always forget to paint these until I go to put it in the truck and I'm like, ah, shoot, or right till the tail end. So I'm proud of myself. I remembered uh, to paint it Trying to get all my paint colors to do the military here. Mmm, yes. Okay, get ready, guys. I'm going to grab some more names here in a second. Thank you, Miss Janet. That. Thank you, Miss Kathy. Thank you all for sprinkling. Y'all are awesome. All right, let me flip this over okay. to the other side. We have Elaine Rogers, Melissa Cowdery. Rachel LeMaster, Janice Van Blarkham, Robin Kisty, Kathy Stubbs Weatherford, Ramona Roberts, Debbie Springer, Pamela Markham, Mary Huntington, Sue Wadsworth, and Susie Gentry. Yes, cats are good. Good to have around for that reason. I mean, other reasons too, but. Thank you, Peggy, for the stars. They are very helpful for that. Yes. I think I'm gonna get the daisy set so I can leave it out longer. Yes, the daisy set is adorable. And I was going back and forth between the Easter and the daisy of which one to do. I decided to do the Easter because Easter is soon. And those of you that ordered it, a lot of you guys ordered both of those. Um, okay. The, um, so I wanted to get this one done so as soon as you get it, you're able to get it painted so that you can use it before Easter. But no, no paint or glue or anything comes in the um, in these sets. You just get all your, they come, it'll come in like a little bundle like this, all shrink, shrink wrapped together to kind of hold everything together. And um, all your wood and your metal pieces will come in your set. Um, the only kits that we do is for our craft kit group. When um, well, and those just come with the embellishments. Those don't come with paint or glue either, though. They come with other embellishments, but not paint and glue. Do we? Um, I can. Yeah, you can tell them the discount oh. code because only people who are in the craft kit group can use it. It won't work for anybody else. So it's it's KCR ten. It only works if you're an active member of the craft kit craft kit group. Um, it's the only way it will work. All right, so I am going to add a little bit, just a little bit of distressing and accents to some of these, and then we're gonna start gluing it all together. I'm gonna glue it all Yeah, together. it's our, our cat was an outside cat. Yes. She did not like being in the house. No, she's always been. Um, she was kind of like a rescue when she was a baby, and we kind of took her in. And then when we moved, we, we were like, well, we gotta take her with us. We can't just leave her, so. Um, of course, she came with us, but she, when we tried like heck to keep her in the house, she was not having it. She would not have it. Antique wax. Antique wax. Oh, uh, Janice, she's making the carrot tear tray. The carrot patch tear carrot tray patch. set. Yep. The this is patch. this is one of our new releases this week. Yep. Just came out today. All right, so I'm going to dip my stenciling brush into, let me get these paint brushes into the water so we don't ruin them. 
dipped it into the antique wax, and then I'm going to take my plate, and I'm just going to kind of get some of the excess off so there's just a little bit on there. And we're going to add just a little bit of distressing to some of these. Just kind of adds a little bit of shadowing, gives it a little bit more of that farmhousey look. I love some distressing um, for my project. So I'm going to do a little bit around the edges of my metal, like so. Nothing too crazy. Do some of my banner pieces. Can you guys see that? No, oh, you cannot. Let me move these. Bring them down here further. So you all can see. Like so. What? Marie, is that a ham sandwich? Oh, <laughs> ham sandwich. She put the ham sandwiches up there for you, hon. I see that. Tim and his ham sandwiches. Yes. Aw, thank you, Daddy. Debbie says she loves this month's craft. Yay. Um, don't know if you want to. Where? Where are we? Right here. Deb, you can send us an email. Um, send us an email, and then we can help you out with that. Um, and just... Um, just in the future, then just try to try to remember in the future. But we can definitely help you out with that. If you just send me an email at Christie's team at Christie'sCraftroom.com and just let us know. Um, and we can help you with that. All right. Let's see. Got that little distressed. We're gonna add a do I wanna I'm just gonna kind of do a little a little different on this this sign. I'm just gonna kind of drag it a little bit. Hey, Not Kimberly. So stippling. Um, Supper. When when you're at the checkout, when you're when you're logged into your account in the in the shop, when you get to the checkout, you got to put that code in. Yep, and it only works if you're a Craft Kit group member. And if you can't, if it if you have issues with it, send uh, send us an email. Yeah, but you, if you're logged into your account, it should work. Yeah. Always have to be logged into your account for that. That's the important part. A little more. Okay. Do that. Do that. We'll do some on here. I'm going to do a little dragging again. And then do a little bit of stippling. Can you all see? Am I in the... I always forget. Am I in the screen? Barely. No. And this stupid monitor is like... Monitor. It's... it's I don't know, that doesn't show up right. All right. I want to do this little uh, sign. I'm just going to do brown. It's the first Friday. So I'm just going to use. It snowed. It's uh, snowing here. It's snowing here. We're it snowed snow. the last two two Fridays. All right. Now I'm going to do. Which is awesome for skiing. A little bit on my carrots as well. And I think we're almost ready. Ooh, Mary Beth got her eyes dilated so she can't see oh, very well. That's oh, that's the I worst. That. That's the worst. That's, oh, that's no fun. I know. The eye doctor we used to go to, every eye exam they would do, your dilate well, your they eyes. Have well, they don't. They give you the option at the other places. They ask you. The other one's like, nope, it's part of it. It's got to be done. That's Shoot. what we do. That's the way we do it here. But the other one says that you don't necessarily have to have it done every time unless you have risk factors. So I don't know. Well, I have risk factors. Well, you do, yes. All right. Y'all, this is going to be so, so cute. Look how cute. Oh, See how that shadowing, that, that antique wax just adds a little bit of shadow to it. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, I love it. I love it. It's just subtle, but it adds just enough. Do a little bit on our metal here too. And then I have one more thing to do. I just got to seal my metal because anytime that you paint or um, antique wax onto your metal, you're going to want to seal it, okay? Otherwise, it's going to end up just scraping off and rubbing off. Um, you'll want to kind of seal that in there. So. Someone just said, don't forget your uh, metal circle. Yes, thank you. I almost forgot it. I almost forgot it. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think I got all the spots I want to get. So now, let me move my metal pieces up here. 
because we are going to want to seal them. So I'm going to grab my paper. I always reuse this paper over and over again. Yeah, they they, they do both with me. I got to do get the air puff. Yeah, they do that I, every time. And I got to get the dilation. Yeah, the air puff they do no matter what for us, everywhere we've ever gone. Oh, yeah, they... I, I get the whole thing every stinking year. Every time. Is that all my metal pieces? Everyone seems to be doing carrots this year. It must be the end thing. Oh my goodness. I love carrots. Carrots are like my favorite um, when it comes to like Eastery type decorating. Um, you want to make sure that your everything's dry before you seal it. Grab my sealer. I use the Rust-Oleum two times matte clear. Um, um, I love it. I use it for darn near everything. everything. I do, I do, it's I like, do. It's like Frank's hot sauce. Yes. All right, here we go. You don't need a crazy heavy coat, just enough to kind of seal it all in there. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Fan's going, it'll suck it out. All right, now we're gonna dry it. No, no, um, Tim and I are the only ones um, here today, right now, anyways. We are yeah, the only ones here. Drop the lane back off. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so once these are dry, we're gonna start assembling it all. <laughs> Debbie says, broke down and ordered the truck and carrot set. Oh, awesome. I'm going to show truck, you this the, in the truck. The, the truck is awesome. Yes. I don't know if you guys remember our, well. True, Chris. Chris says, when you decorate with carrots, they can stay up all of spring, summer, and even into harvest time. That is actually very true. Yeah. Very true. Okay. Have a good weekend, Corby. So, let me bring all these back over here. Get this paper out of the way really late we'll watch for you play my oldest granddaughter picked me up and took me to lunch oh how That's nice awesome. how nice is that i hope you enjoy yes you lunch. can you can paint the metal you can um if you're going to paint the metal you're going to want to be mindful of what kind of paint you use you're going to want to use like a chalk paint um a spray paint something like that if you're going to paint it solid i would suggest maybe taking um a sanding sponge and kind of rough up the surface a little bit and then clean it with alcohol and then paint it and then seal it okay um because it is a very smooth shiny type surface it's going to have a hard time grabbing on to um like regular acrylic paints and stuff like that so we're just adding a little bit oh i didn't i missed one y'all cindy says her husband's gonna have to break out the snowblower I am, am, am like procrastinating. I am not pulling the snowblower out this late in the season. Not, not for only two or three inches. The truck is, the truck should not be on back order. If the truck says back order, ignore it. They just didn't update the stock because we have trucks. No, I say, cause it's, uh, I, when I checked the orders this morning, there was an order for a couple of them and I went and looked and there's, yeah, they just there was seem quite, to there was quite a few in the, in the bin. So, so um, even if anything does say back order on our site, we still ship it within one. We say one to two biz. We strive to ship in one to two business days. Please allow us up to five days for back ordered items. It almost never ever takes five days. Very rarely does it take five days. Um, only if it's like a super super popular item and we sell a crazy crazy ton of them or something like that, it might take an, a little bit longer. But typically, we still ship the back order in one to two days. That just means. That just means it's going to go to a queue and Tim's going to find out once it gets here that we need that cut and then he's going to get that cut. So um, it, it goes to the front of the line of just stocking stuff um, or the whatever he's cutting that day. So, so don't worry about that if it says back order. It's not like it's going to take you six months to get it or six, yeah. even six weeks or anything yeah. like that. Where's my glue? There it is. Where's my glue? All right, so I'm going to use the gel super glue. The gel super glue. Now, see, it's uh, Marjorie. 
When I, when I was growing up, I remember snow in May where I grew up. So it's, I, I, I know, but it's like, did you, um, but since I've moved down here, it's not so much. Um, no, we, we haven't stopped doing rusty metal. We just didn't do a whole lot of it this winter. Um, we, yeah, we didn't do a lot for winter because, um, we actually asked you guys what y'all wanted and everyone overwhelmingly said you wanted the galvanized and we kind of have to like base what we stock and what we have based on what people are actually purchasing as a whole, because that just makes sense to do that. And, um, we overwhelmingly sell so much more, um, galvanized than we did rusty and we would oftentimes end up with extra rusty stock left over at the end of a season and you know we can't just be cutting stuff and it's a lot more work um because we rust it by hand so not that we won't have rusty stuff back not that we won't ever have rusty back but it um you can take the galvanized and make it look rusty um and that's what we found everybody was doing. People would buy the galvanized and they would make it look faux rusty instead of the rusty. Some people were like, oh, rusty's messy, I don't like it. Um, so we kind of had to base it on what people were actually wanting as a whole overall. So, um, yeah, so yeah, I not, don't know. Not that we won't ever We haven't have intentionally it. like stopped doing rusty, it's just, the galvanized really speaks. Okay, get ready, guys. I'm going to grab some more names speaks here in a minute. to me, and I know it's speaking to y'all. So, well, I mean, I know it is because that's what sells, and we have to make what sells. I mean, honestly, we it's, you know, y'all know. All right, so we're just using our gel super glue, and we are gluing all of our pieces on. I like to lay out all my pieces on and get it kind of um, spaced out, and then glue them on there one at a time. All right. We have Kathy Stubbs Weatherford, Billy Eddy, Tracy Cooper, Gina Barefoot, Dora Babiak, Teeter, Shelly Teeters, Patty Campbell, uh, Cheryl Johnson, Holly Ness, Cheryl Rock, Marie Addison, Cindy Patnode, and Linda's Roach. Now, one thing you're going to find, a couple things to keep in mind, when you're using the gel super glue, you want to make sure it's gel, not liquid, because liquid is just going to like run and run all over the place. You have a little bit of time to work with the gel. When you're gluing metal, you have a little bit more time. It takes longer to dry when you're doing metal, but if you're doing wood on one, it, wood on wood, it sets a lot quicker. So um, you don't have as much of a window that's, of time. That's like gluing finger to finger. Well, yeah, you glue finger to finger, it sets very quickly. <laughs> yes. The metal, it takes a little bit longer to set than the wood does. Hi, Patricia from Garland, Texas. Garland, Texas. Oh, I've never heard of that. <laughs> so you said my name. I yelled excitingly, exciting, and my son ran out, thought something was wrong. Well, at least your son came running when you screamed. <laughs> My family doesn't come running when I scream. She screams so often. Not like that. Not I don't scream to the extent where I pee myself. Not on a regular basis anyways. So, yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, good to know y'all would come running. Good to know. Good to know. It happened to my sister one time. She uh, she was up in the attic at my parents' house. Yes, and Linda. There's a couple spots where, like, it's not like an attic that, like, it has like a storage area, but then it also has areas that like, there's just kind of like boards going across. And she she was up there, we were pulling Christmas stuff out when they used to keep it up there. And her foot slipped and she like fell down into the floor. And she ended up like sitting on her bottom, like down in the thing. And she like screamed like when she fell and nobody came running. So she's just like sitting there going, what the heck? Nobody came running? 
Nobody, like, so she literally on purpose, intentionally started screaming like she was hurt, like to see like how long it would take someone to come and rescue her. She finally gets herself out of the hole. <laughs> she, gets, she wasn't hurt, thankfully. She got herself out of the hole, but it was tough because her, her leg literally fell into a hole, you know? And so she comes downstairs and she's like, did you all not hear me screaming? We're like, no, we didn't hear anything. She was literally above, right above us. Like had she not like fell and landed the way she landed, she probably would have come right through the ceiling. We didn't hear her. We didn't hear her at all. You hear that all loud? Yes? Yeah. Sure. Uh, Sylvia says, I still haven't done the craft night craft because I was doing the crazy chicken craft. Now I want the one you're doing today. I will never catch up. Oh, girl, you just need like a crafting marathon day. Just a day of crafting and doing all the things, right? Doing all the things. Um, Patty, there is nothing that should be out of stock right now. I, I just, some of the things just weren't updated. Yeah. So if it says, uh, uh, just oh wait go ahead and order it it's still going to be cut and shipped by monday or tuesday yeah um it'll still be shipped if it in says one to back Tuesdays. ordered yeah or yeah if it says back order yeah i guess it depends on what was out of what it's saying is out of stock yeah if there's some out of season stuff it's potential like if it's christmas or like a, an old fall thing or you know there's a couple on like the last page there's a few leftover things from previous seasons potentially um, if those say out of stock, then that means we're not cutting anymore. That's out of season. And we've, we've put those files to bed for a while. I see this. Uh... If it says back order, it just means we just got to cut it to send it to you and we'll get it cut. All right. So I kind of made my carrots go like opposite of each other. Um, Michelle says she crafts almost every day. I love that. I oh, love that. okay. Marie. Yeah. The, the mat is out of stock. Oh, the mat is out of stock. Yes. Yeah. Anything that's like a supply like this, like paint, um, paint brushes, mats, things like that. If, if they, you can't back order those, those might say out of stock. And once we get more in, then we will add the stock. We can't back order those because we don't know how long, you know, it takes us longer to get that stuff. Um, yeah. and then sometimes we go to reorder things and they discontinue it, but the mats, they're, they just don't stock a large stock of them. And even the manufacturer that they get them from doesn't, they can only get so many. And I buy all of them. When they restock them, I buy, buy them all. whatever they have. That's what I buy. Um, and they always sell out with under an hour, under an hour. Last time they, they were gone in a half hour. So, um, we're going to get them, keep getting, we'll keep ordering them and we'll keep bringing them as long as y'all are wanting them. But yeah, you guys, this is so cute. So cute. Are you going to do, uh, to do, oh crap. Are you going to do another box of older outdated sets again? You did one a couple of months ago and I missed it. Um, we at most do that once a year, maybe once a year. Um, usually about once a year. That's about it. Um, I can't, I'll never say we won't do it more than once a year, but we typically don't have that much stock left over enough to fill that many boxes like that. We usually have to save our stuff for a year to do that. Um, What's the name of the heavy duty scissors you used last night to cut the sticks? Oh, those are the, um, I think they're called power cutters on the website. They're Fiskars. So if you search the Fiskars, um, they'll show up. What are you looking at? Did I do something wrong? No, I thought you did, but I was looking wrong. Oh, I was going to say, you're looking on my shoulder like I did something wrong over here. What did I do? Mystery boxes. That's what they were. Yeah, the mystery boxes, we at most do those once a year. At most. Yeah. We don't have that much, typically, stock left over. Most of our stuff ends up selling out by the end of the season. Or sometimes we'll do like, it's been a while. We really haven't had to do like, occasionally we'll do like an end of season sale, but I know we didn't even do one for winter this year. Um, so I don't think we had enough stuff left over. To yeah, need there, to do there one. really wasn't much left. No. Uh, the mat is silicone, Michelle. Yep. 
Yep. All right. It's something we carry in our shop and we're just waiting to get more in from our manufacturer. And I, I cannot tell you where else you can get them because I don't know where else you can get them. Not these like this that are this size. They, they sell little tiny ones different yeah, places. Yeah, we've seen smaller ones. But nothing that's big like this that has the lines on it. And and I wouldn't know, you know, the quality of these too. It's just really nice. Okay, come on. Uh-oh. I know, my bottle's getting a little low, but you know. Hey, 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 hey. My bottle's getting a little low. Hey, hey. People are like, what are you talking about? Bottle's getting a little low. I know you oh, know. Oh, no, it's already time. down. <laughs> oh, your seat's already down. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. There. Now your bottle's low. <laughs> yeah, how many people don't know what you just did? My last name's Bob. <laughs> That's our last name. <laughs> so, funny, funny joke. I All used right. to, back, back, well, a lifetime ago, I had, uh, I own my own, I own my own business, uh, construction business grab a piece of twine and i would always tell my employees if you can come up with a brand new bottle joke one that i've never heard i will buy you a case of beer and in 15 years i bought like three cases of beer i think the best bottle joke was my dad's right when i told him to kiss my born on date yes yes yeah the best one was my dad's because when tim and i got engaged Oh. Yeah, that one. That, that one. one. You want to tell them? You can. Okay. When, I might get it wrong, because I wasn't there for the conversation, but my dad, when when Tim proposed to me. When, when I asked He had a dad, conversation with my dad. If, if I could have her hand in marriage. Wasn't that sweet that he did that? And my dad said yes, but there's a stipulation. There's a stipulation. No, no deposit, no return. No deposit, no return. She's yours. Yep. So he uh, he was he stuck with me. He stuck with me. He like, can't return me to my daddy. He's got to keep me. Poor man. He's got to keep me. I'm stuck with. <laughs> Poor her. man. Yeah. It's a rough life he had. He lives. Ah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Mary or Marie. <laughs> you suck <laughs> at names. I'm so bad at the names. <laughs> I corrected myself. It's just you all. I'm crafting and conversationing. And, and conversationing. <laughs> There's the word. And then, Find that and look that up in your fucking wagnall. This that, like, that would be an encyclopedia. Sounded like you said something else. <laughs> that sounded like you were saying a different word there. <laughs> um, that, that's an encyclopedia set. So I'm going in through the front was, and then back through the back. Was that the Smothers Brothers that did that one? Some of y'all are, are, are uh, as old as me or maybe a couple years older that would understand that one. Right, Anne Marie. Is that the Smothers Brothers? Michigan does have a 10 cent bottle return. Yep. Yep. My dad said, nope. No, or, no deposit, no return. So that's for those of you that don't live in a state where you have bottle returns, you're probably like, what? Yeah. You have to pay in Michigan when you buy a. Well, we'll anything use carbonated. Anything Basically. carbonated, like a, a six pack of sodas, you pay 60 cents deposit. Yep, 10 cents for every. 10, 10 cents for every can. Can or bottle that's in so, there. So, and then you take, when you take it back, they give you your 60 cents back. Yes. So. Yes. All right, so we're going to glue our little sign together. I was kind of giving my little arrow Ooh. time, making sure it was set. So now we're going to glue. You um, can put a little hot glue in there too. I'm going to go ahead and use. Deb says she remembers the encyclopedias. Patty says it was. It's one of those brothers. Yeah. Or was it? I couldn't remember if it was Smothers Brothers or, or on uh, uh, Rowan and Martin uh, uh, laughing. Okay. Maybe I should have used hot glue. I'm... Rosemary had a set of F and W encyclopedias. All right. All right, just to kind of help hold this, because I put a big old glob of glue in there and it might take a minute to set. I'm going to put a little dot of hot glue on the back side here just along the back edge, just to kind of help hold it until that glue sets. Now see, that was some good comedy. The Smothers Brothers, Rowan and Martin's laughing. Yeah. So for those of you that don't know, in Michigan, yes. And then you return it, you finish that story? Yeah. Oops. Yeah, Ohio Sorry. has uh, a nickel. Didn't, didn't let it set long enough. And I think California, I, does California still have the CA Redemption Fund? Hold on, let me put a little bit of- Charmaine says, Tim, you're showing your age. He is. He is. I know, but we had a good comedy back then. Or everybody was so touchy. 
Mm -hmm. Kathy says she loved both of those shows. I know, those were awesome. Okay. All right, there we go. There we go, there we go. Hold it for just a second longer. Give it just a second. Susan, you're not that much older carrots. than me. Right, oh, yes. Set. Carol Burnett with Tim Conway. And, um, um, oh, my gosh. Who was it? Uh, I'm going to grab the truck, y'all. Who was it that used to play? play uh, oh, I can see his face. He was our always guys. a special guest. We've got our little farm set in there right now. Our little, our little farm set. So we're going to take that out. And we are going to add... Our little carrot set. All right. So we've got these little hooks that come with the truck, okay? So you can hang them on the inside here, inside this little, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's like these little edges here. So you can hang it on the inside like so. Or if you have a longer banner, you can hang it on the outsides or you can even hang it along these sides over here. So if you have like a longer banner, just hang it however yes, it works. Yes, Jenny, Harvey oh, Corman. scared me. Harvey Corman, that's it. Thank you. <sighs> scared me. Sorry. I'm like, what? Oh. Sorry, I couldn't remember his name and it was bugging me. I could see his face. I'm excited there. Tim Conway and Harvey Corman would always go at each other to see who could get each other to break character and laugh live on live TV. Oh, so was that like the, um, the very first, uh, what is that one where they used to do that, where they used to make each other laugh? With, um, oh my gosh, Jim Carrey, Jim, not Jim Carrey, um, oh my gosh, what is his name? The ones where they do all those, there was like four people, and they, the skit, the skit, they'd give them like a skit, and they'd have to do oh, it, and they'd have to try not no, to laugh. Whose line is it anyway? Whose line is it anyway? No, this is much, much, much older. The, I, the Carol Burnett show. I said, was No, that, it wasn't like I, that. I said, was no. that like the very first version of something like no. that? Oh, okay. no. The Carol Burnett was kind of like a sitcom, well, and and Tim Conway and Harvey, the one that the one that the uh, uh, skit that always comes to my mind is the one with the, uh, Tim Conway, and the uh, the elephant, the 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 Siamese elephants in their in their in their uh, uh, tr they were connected at the trunk and they couldn't go. Rrr! They could only go. Frnarkle, frnarkle. Tim loves hanging out here because because he can share his these stories and y'all get it. And you all understand it because you've seen it, it with me. I'm like, what? 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 <laughs> we got our little carrots. Okay, so we are going to... No, I do not remember the uh, Princess and the P one. I'll have to look that one up. Figure out where we best hang these. And I think we're going to do it right from the Good sides. Good afternoon. Here. I'm working on my shelf sitters. I'm on the EMT. Ooh, that one is cool. The EMT yes, one is cool. Yes. I love, you know what? I, I, I do love all of those. I so. How cute that is. Ah, I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it. All right, let me turn this way. Figure out where we're going to put all these other little pieces. We've got our oh, little Oh, Beverly, that one was hilarious. Stand. So we'll, let's see. We'll start with our carrot patch. Here, with the carrot patch, we put our, let's see, our farm fresh carrots. And then maybe we'll do like our little carrots here. And then leaning in here. And then we'll do, we could put them all in here if we want to. But I like to have one kind of like off to the side. It kind of gives it that tiered, um, that tiered look, like so, hold on. Hold on, y'all, let me fix this. It's hard to do it backwards. Let me get her lined up all the way I want her. There we go. Oh, yeah, that uh, Marjorie, that was that was on uh, uh, Hee Haw. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, dwarf, dwarf on golf. That was some just some... Hilarious stuff. Let me do our little our little sign down there. How cute! I'm like way overthinking, trying to get it lined up just right. I way overthink these things. Yes, um, she does. I do, I do. And you can always, if you wanted to do like an extra little um, stand and raise this up a little bit. Yes, you Susan, I have. Do that as well. If you want to get an extra little stand to have that kind of free standing there. Oops. Let me show you all that. 
Y'all see, some of y'all might have thought, like, where is she going with the black and white? Like, what? The black and white? Huh? That's not very springy. But it's very farmhousey. So if you're very into the farmhouse look, you can never go wrong with the black and white Melissa and asks, a little splash of color. Can you come up with a design that holds this stuff but isn't a truck? I love, the, I love the idea, just not into the truck mm -hmm. decor. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe. We'll, we'll throw something against I'll the wall, see, see if I it can, sticks. I can see what I can do. I can see what I can do. Um, I can totally see what I can do. See what I can do. What is that song? I don't I can know. see what I can do. I, I have no clue. There's a song the kids used to sing. Something about... Don't know. What time is it? Adventure time. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going back into my kids' elementary days. Um... But yeah, so there is our carrot set. We are going to gift, so if you did not sprinkle this video yet, sprinkle it, because we are gonna scroll through and we are gonna find somebody to gift this set to in just a minute, okay? I promise I'll put the, if I messed up, I'll put my piece, my experimental piece back in before we send it to you, okay? Um, but we're gonna do that in just a minute. So sprinkle, sprinkle, spread the love. W real quick, um, these are new into the shop. We just added a bunch of other spring stuff into the shop. We do still have about 20 tickets left for the live event. So there, we've only, it was what, a week ago that we launched them? Not even. Or it was about a week ago. Did we launch what? Maybe just over, about a week ago, that we launched the live tickets. Oh. So um, there's only okay. 20 left. So once they're gone, they're gone. So if you've been on the fence about it, hop off your fence. Hop off <laughs> Come the out fence. and hang out in Waco, Texas with us. If you're not sure what it is, you can go to the website, christyscraftroom.com. Um, you should be able to see it in the shop. If you don't see it in the shop for some reason, across the, the top on a computer, you can click where it says KCR Live 2023. Or if you're on a phone, it's going to have those three little lines up in the corner. Click on those and then click on KCR Live 2023 and it'll give you all the information, all the details, all the things. If you have questions, send us an email. We're happy to answer questions you have. We've had lots of people asking us questions. Um, that wanted to know. It's in September, September 29th to October 1st. Three days of fun with our team, okay? It's gonna be an amazing time. So don't miss it. You're not gonna wanna miss it. It's gonna be- We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have so much fun. We are so looking forward to it. It's gonna be much needed. If, you know, and, little, and if you want uh, uh, the view of, of someone that was at last year's, the yes. live from, we did a live yesterday with Teresa and you know to get a perspective of from her side yeah yeah and, well i think the difference between last year and this year um we we did not know what we were doing last year and um not a lot um oh i already know that yeah no, i did yeah um i um lost my train of thought sorry <laughs> it's gone Su uh, uh, Susan, apparently, um, don't don't hint. Us guys don't take hints. Yeah. Be very blunt. Oh, the difference between last year and this year, if we only had the 75 tickets that we had last year, we would have sold out in a half hour again because um, we sold over 100 tickets in an hour um, initially for this this year. But we have 150 tickets this year, so we have more tickets available for people um, this year than we did last year. So I think that's kind of part of what the difference is. So, um, okay. so, um, so yeah. All right, guys, we're yes, going to hop we off here. We didn't know what we didn't account for. We didn't year. know anything. We had no clue last year when so. we planned our event. We had no idea. And we definitely, um, underestimated a lot, but it still was an amazing event and it, it, it went amazing. And that's what's important. Um, and we're going to have just as much, um, um, just as much fun yeah, this year. That. So, um, I saw that. but yeah, so that's fine. You know, it's not for everybody. And you know, if you can come, you can come. If you can't, you can't, or if you want to, you can, or if you don't want to, you don't have to. It's an optional thing. It's just for fun. Um, for those who can, Thanks, and want Holly. To. so, um, Tim is a hot mess, right? Tim is a hot mess some days. Usually I'm the hot mess, but Tim can be a hot hey, mess Holly, too. <laughs> I'm the one that approves all of those yes. posts. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be Just fun. Just saying. Okay, so we are going to get um, a name for somebody who is going to be 
Um, Genesis went last year, had a blast, was. met new friends. It was so much fun. Just can't make it this year. Yeah. No, it's too yeah. Long. Yep. We have, like, what did I say, 24? Thank you, Marcel, for I the think stars. 24 people that came last year that are coming again this year already, which is super, super exciting. Yeah. So that's awesome. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Keep those names rolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. A winner. Scrolling, oh. scrolling, scrolling. Keep those names are rolling. Stop. <laughs> I oh forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I was my brain was running. I was thinking she forgot um, that she had to say. So the first name that Tim sees or saw when I said stop is the name that's going to go on the little sticky note, and that's who's going to get this. Um, so I I was looking at some of the comments um, before that, but we do have a payment plan. There is a payment option where it can break your payment into four different payments. Um, so you don't have to pay the full amount up front right now. So you have that option at checkout, just hit sizzle, um, and then it'll take you over to their page and then they, you know, they do have to approve you or not approve you. Um, most people get approved occasionally. It, you know, it's, it's not like a hardcore thing, but, um, most people don't can, can use it. So. Um, and then they just break it into four payments for you. And then you book your hotel. You don't pay for your hotel until you get there. So you've got time to save up for that. And same thing, if you have to fly, you don't have to get your ticket today. You can wait and save up your money and get your ticket as it gets closer. We've got a lot of time to be able to plan all that, that out and kind of space things out. That's why we wanted to get the tickets for sale as soon as we could so you guys would have time to be able to plan and account for all the different things. So... Um, yes, Lori, our craft event is in Waco this year. Waco, Texas. Waco, Texas. We're super, super, super excited. So, um, and this is why we talk about it a lot because there's a lot of people here today that have not heard us talk about it. They don't know where it's at. They don't know we're having it. They don't know any details of it. They didn't even know we were having a live event because we get new people every day and Facebook does not show everybody everything. So we like to, you know, we have to say it. We don't like to say it 30 times, but we do because we know Facebook only shows a little portion of the people our stuff on any given day. Oh, so. I, I, I know, Holly. Um, <laughs> did, did Lynn put all her name, her name on all the sticky notes she gifted you? <laughs> yes. She should have, right? That would have been funny, Lynn, if you wrote your name on all those sticky notes that you gave Tim. That yeah. would have been hilarious. <laughs> or just like in the middle, like like a couple here or there, just throw your name in there. That would have been really funny. Okay, Janet says, love Sezzle. Sezzle's pretty awesome. We love Sezzle, too. It's, it's, oh, I love Hee Haw. It's awesome. All right, we have... Yep, if you share a room, it's cheaper. And then we have ladies that are in the... We have a private Facebook group that they all are put into or they can request to join after they get their ticket. And I know, come to Waco, Susan. Um, there are some that are coordinating to room up and buddy their rooms together to um, save on that. So, um, Jeanette, yes, that is feasible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a walker is feasible. Absolutely. Um, we are taking a trolley. Um, and they said it's not a problem that they can bring the walkers. They have a place where they can put the walkers on the trolley. Um, cause we have two trolleys that are going to transport us to our Friday activity together. So, and um, we're still, uh, WJ, we're still working on virtual, not yep. sure how, what it's going to look like. It'll be at least a couple weeks before we know anything on that for sure. Oh, Lynn sent them straight from Amazon. Oh yes. 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 And I don't think Amazon's going to go to that level and, um, add that personalization to your to your order. So Susan says, no room buddy for me, I like my space. I hear you girl, I hear you girl, I, I hear ya. Um, all right, so let's announce this for those that want to know this. Um, this is the person who's gonna be gifted this set, the carrot set that I used is Miss Cindy Petnode, Petnode, Petnode. 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 Yeah. Miss Cindy Petnode, Ooh, send us an email at Christie's team at Christie's craft not at Christie's team send us an email to Christie's team at Christie's craft room.com Christie's team at Christie's craft room.com Miss Cindy was watching on YouTube today so Christie's team at Christie's craft room.com send us your address we will send you this set that we were working with today so um all right guys all right, guys. Um, we use it's called MDF. Is yeah, what we I, use. I, I totally oh, know. okay. All right. I thought that was another. Nope. 
All right, guys, we nope. love you. We're going to hop off here. You guys enjoy your weekend. Enjoy um, whatever it is that you're doing. Stay safe, stay warm, or stay cool if it's hot where you're at. I don't know. What's that? What? It's what? Okay. Nothing. It's a sticky note. A yeah, sticky no, note. I, 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 I don't know what you're looking at. All right, guys, we love you. We'll see you later. Um, if you have questions about the live event, shoot us an email. We're happy to answer them. Let's get those last 20 tickets sold um, and have a fun time together. So we love you guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Listen, I'm as tired of talking about it as y'all are hearing it, some of y'all. I know. I get it. I get it. I get it. But we have to deal with Facebook and the algorithm and them not showing people things. So that's why we talk about it. Because yeah. today was a perfect example. There were tons of people that were like, wait, what? You have a live event? What? Where are you going? So um, that's why. So we love you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.